What is up guys, it's your boy Swoop coming in with another video today and I'm going to start a series where we start outlining some of the best overall Temtem in the game based on stat total. So this isn't an opinion piece where I'm saying I like this Temtem, I like this Temtem, I think this one's good in the meta. We are purely doing this list off of the top 10 Temtem with the most overall stat. Keep in mind this is also relevant to patch 0.5.10. So if another patch comes out, it's very uh, possible that these lists could change at any moment. So without further ado, let's get on with the show. Coming in at number 10, Platymus with 457 total stats. It's water and toxic. Its two traits are zen and determined, and its highest stat overall is special attack. Coming in at number nine is Gialis, the melee crystal type. I love this Temtem, it's awesome. Its traits are mirroring and resistant. Its top stat, as you guys can see, is 100 in speed. This thing is fast, it hits hard. This Thing kicks butt. You guys can find it in the subsurface area of Tukma. Coming in at number 8 with 462 total in its stats, it is Shuin. And Shuin is a crystal water type Temtem that can be found in the cave going under the island, the southeast of the map in Tukma. This thing's uh, main stat, it's actually fairly balanced, but its main stat is stamina, followed by speed. Its traits are immunity and guardian. This is a personal favorite of mine. I love this thing aesthetically. It's awesome. And who can't like another crystal serpent? Coming in at number 7 and barely beating out Shuin with 465 total stat points is Vilash. It has a speed of 90 and this thing is pretty crazy. It's a neutral crystal type Temtem with the traits of Scavenger and Determined and you can find this in the Caves of Tukma. Creating a large gap between 7th and 6th place is Volcrane with 473 total stat points. This is an earth and fire Temtem, where you can once again find in the caves of Tukma. Its two traits are receptive and vigorous. It's fairly well balanced amongst its stats, with defense peaking out at 86. So there's not too many fire Temtem, and uh, this thing is basically just dominating the fire arena. And tying with Volcrane is Ukama with 473 total stat points. This is a water Temtem whose abilities are Hydrologist and Plethoric. Plethoric? Plethoric. I don't know how to say that. But anyways, you can find Ukama, or at least its pre-evolution form in Deniz in basically every water location. If, if you were anywhere on your surfboard in Deniz, you could probably find Umishi, which evolves after 14 levels of training, where you get Ukama, and uh, this thing is insanely fast. It has 100 speed and 90 stamina. This thing blows stuff out of the water. If you guys have been playing the game, you guys know how hard this thing hits. It's a powerhouse. If you guys get a chance to get one, I highly recommend recommend it. Also, the shiny version is pretty cool. It's just a red version of what it is. It's pretty sick. I can't believe this is happening, but coming in at your fourth position on the list is the neutral devil himself. Terrifying, hauntingly dead looking eyes, off-putting, awful, neutral Temtem overlord, Tataru. This thing comes with soft touch and resilient soft touch, meaning that if you're asleep in your bed, this thing can touch you and you won't know about it. Think about that. This is a neutral type Temtem that you can find all over Deniz. It's pretty easy to find. It has a couple spots where it is 100% spawn rate. So if you guys are just looking for a neutral beater with 90 stamina, 70 HP, and 68 attack, this thing is easy to get, not hard to find, doesn't evolve. It's just tough from the start. So if you guys are looking for something to kind of power through and hit for mostly neutral damage throughout its entire lifespan. This is one of the Temtem to do it. Coming in at number three on the best overall Temtems based on total stat points is Whiplump? Whiplump. Whiplump. This unicorn horned cloud looking piece of junk that is four times weak to electric is the third best statted Temtem in the game currently. Uh, I, I personally hate this Temtem. I don't think it deserves existence in this universe. Its abilities are plethoric and patient, who cares? You can find this thing all over the place, especially in Denna's. 
I don't know why I'd want it. Terrible. Like, apparently it's good in special attack, I guess. And special defense and stamina and speed and HP. And it can freeze stuff. I'm furious. And, uh... I, I can't believe I'm saying this, but coming in at second is Lawali. The nature, wind type, Temtem, with Toxic Farewell and Botanist. Its stat total is 485, as you guys can see. Pretty well balanced, and I hate it. 90 special defense, 80 stamina, 80 speed, and 70 special attack. This thing actually helped me quite a bit when I did have it, and it's a bit annoying to play against, because it almost always has Toxic Farewell, and it will always ruin your life. So, there you go. I can't believe this thing is number two. And coming in on the number one spot is Oshiara. It has 486 total stat points. This thing is nuts. The two traits you could find on it are Hydrologist and Mithridatism? Myth? Mithridatism. Mithridatism. Anyways, it has an insane amount of speed of 100, an insane special attack at 110. This thing wrecks face. It's no shocker that Oshiara is one of the top Temtems. Uh, you could find it in the cave on Deniz. It is a rare spawn in the pool if you go through the room to the north. Um, if you guys want to find any of the rare Temtem on here, including Oshiara, you guys can check out the video. You can click the card above you. That'll show you guys where to get it. So if you guys haven't caught yourself in Oshiara, do it. It's important. This thing is one of many, many, many amazing water type Temtem that you can get in this game right now. So if you get a chance, get it. All right, guys, and that wraps up our video for today. I hope you guys enjoyed the top 10 best statted overall Temtem in the game right now for patch 0.5.10. Hope you guys had a great day. Don't forget, hit the subscribe down below. Don't forget, if you guys are looking to sell, trade, or do anything with Temtem, hit me up. If you guys are content creators and you guys are looking for collabs, hit me up. I'm always happy to work with more members of the community. If you guys want to play, stream, you need help with anything, hit me up. I'll help you guys. I don't care if you guys are on the first dojo. I'll come back and help you guys. Always happy to. And uh, see you guys in the next video.